Tackle Showcase. No, not that you to tackle. All jokes aside, today we are actually doing a tackle showcase. A bunch of you guys asked for this, so here it is. We're appealing to what you guys want to see. Oh yeah, real quick thank you to all of you guys. We're at 4.4 thousand, so that is really awesome. Without further ado, what? Why did I? Why did I just do that? Now I gotta clean it up. Regardless, hope you guys enjoy, and let's try and not make this too long. So let's hop in it. First order of business. Let's talk fly fishing. Move all of that. Here is my nine foot rod. It actually extends further than you guys. Um, but yeah, it's nine foot five weight TFO next black label. Here's my waiting bag big. Thanks to crystal lures for sending me this bag right here I got a white river trout net inside the bag. We got stuff that you need for fly fishing dry shake oil tippet and Of course your flies now. Let's talk bass fishing. Where should I even start? Uh, okay, this front little pocket. This is where I just keep my I, I don't know necessary items uh, got the stinky stuff, spike it, got a mask for some reason, forceps, can't forget those. Got GoPro attachments in case mine breaks. Speaking of GoPro, this is my GoPro Hero 7 Black, got it two years ago. The current model is like a nine or something, but this thing still works perfectly for me. If you guys are looking for a GoPro, I highly recommend getting this one. Anyways, this is kind of the boring stuff. Let's just put it all back in. The thing I like about this one tackle bag is it zips all the way around and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, first this pocket right here. Uh, sunglasses, of course, batteries for the GoPro and just like a head mount if I feel like doing that uh, for some reason. And you can't forget when I want to weigh those 10 pounders, got a scale. As I was saying earlier about this bag being like able to kind of open up like a full sandwich. This is what I'm talking about. Just take a look at this. I can easily fit three of these pretty large tackle boxes in here. And I can just shove soft, soft plastics in here whenever I feel like. And this first tackle box just got hooks and weights and it's, it's, it's kind of a mess. I kind of need to sort this out. Maybe I'll do this during the winter time. Right here, this is kind of my miscellaneous box. Got jerk baits, swim baits. It's kind of tangled up with some line there. But yeah, this is basically my swim bait box. Uh, it's not that big right now, but I'm gonna keep building it up. Over here, we got two more tackle boxes. This one is my little travel box. If I just want to go pond hopping or something, just toss in some lures and I'm good to go for the whole day. Lastly, this is my most full box, I guess you can say. Right here, we got crankbaits of all sorts here. This was a topwater section until I got lazy and I started putting them everywhere. Here's some jigs, uh, chatterbait, spinnerbaits, miscellaneous, uh, and some frogs. That is all that goes into my bag at the moment. Now, I think you guys might want to see what's inside this whole cabinet. This is a great way that I just kind of organize all the stuff I have. In here, I got all kinds of hard, hard baits that are unopened at this moment. But as you can see, I uh, got, got a few, uh, like Topwater, for example, Frog, Swim, swim Jig, uh, but yeah. This next compartment right here just has some gloves, some stickers and stuff, and of course batteries, spare batteries if I need them. In this pile, these are the plastics that I kind of collected over the years of bass fishing. Not much to say, uh, as you can see, there's just a wide assortment of plastics. Got your paddle tails, really like these. Right inside this box, we got a bunch of net bait plastics, crawls, paddle tails, crawls for jig trailers. All these will do really well during the summertime. In this box, we got line, more line, more line. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to keep this pretty quick and not get into the super specifics or else that would kind of bore you. Now is the time to show off what you guys have been waiting for. Quick disclaimer before I even go into this, this is not all the rods and reels I own, but this is my main setup, I guess. 
These are the ones I'm actually gonna be fishing. I'm not gonna be fishing the rods and reels that are actually older than me. And like this, as you can see, these are all the combos taken from this rod rack. First off, we're gonna start off with my loose laser MG. This is a seven. Uh, yeah, this is a 7.1 to one gear ratio. Um, as you can see, I have 12 pound test on here. Got a little rattling net on here. A lot of you guys ask why I throw finesse baits like Ned Rigs on bait casting gear. If it works, why not? Cause I can totally bomb this thing out to the middle of a body of water. The rod I have on is a Halo XD3 Pro. Same one as the one you're about to see coming up. This is a medium power one. So it handles fish pretty well. This next one is actually my most expensive combo at the moment. I can kind of mix and match to make it even more expensive, but um, here is my Luz Hyper Mag right there. I love those handles. This is on a medium heavy rod. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be throwing chatterbaits and jigs on mostly. I uh, got it on 15 pound fluorocarbon. Nothing much else to say here, uh, except that this is super duper light. Out of all of these combos I'm about to show you, this is probably my least favorite one. And the reason for that is just because um, I went fishing with Ethan, who was, who was actually behind the camera one time. I hooked into two bass with this Bass Pro Shops Megacast Baitcaster, and the brakes ended up failing on me, and I lost both fish. Um, but other than that, I think the rod is pretty nice. It's a Berkeley Cherrywood HD rod. It's, this is the medium heavy seven foot. You can find these at Walmart for 20 bucks. So for you beginning bass fishermen, I believe this is a very good option to go with. Over here, I have my go-to spinning setup, Runkle Titan 2. Uh, I have it in the 2000 size, got 20 pound braid on here, I believe. I love throwing braid on spinning setups. Don't typically throw mono or fluoro as sometimes it may result in some tangles. And then this rod right here is just a Shakespeare agility. Um, I believe it's pretty whippy if you look. It's a whippy rod. I like it. It's a medium power. Good for finesse bass fishing. If you have been following the channel ever since this summer, you probably know that this was one of the purchases I got. Uh, this is my very first Shimano, Shimano reel, I guess. Uh, this has the DC feature as it is the SLX DC. It has the 8.3 to one gear ratio. Uh, it's good for crankbaits, that's for sure. I currently have 30 pound braid on here. Might take it off later, but for now it's good. Um, I honestly don't throw it that much anymore, but this springtime I might be. This rod is actually a heavy. So this thing is very good for frogging, very reliable. Good for getting into those pads and not having to worry about the rod snapping. If you are a budget angler, I feel like most of you guys have come across this combo already. This is the Abu Garcia Black Max. Goes for around 50 something dollars right now at Walmart. And then of course we got a Berkeley cherry wood rod on there. Pretty reliable, I would say. I've been fishing with it for about a year right now. Um, I no longer really fish with it because of other stuff I have, but if I'm just trying to have some fun, this thing will get the job done. As I promised earlier in this video, I was gonna make this as short and concise as possible. Uh, if you look at the wall behind me, that is all mail, or that, those are all letters that you guys have sent to me in the year of 2020. I love the support you guys give me, and OGs definitely remember this hat. I don't really wear it anymore, but if you know, you know. This year of 2021, gonna try and roll out as much content as possible for you guys. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider it. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. All that being said, get out there and fish for the adventure. Ah!